Hey, welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite pink nail polishes. So y'all knew I would be so hyped when we got to this video. Pink is alongside with blue. I really do love blue. But pink, I would say, is my favorite nail polish color. Maybe my favorite color, period. <laughs> I don't wear a lot of like pink clothes, but when I have pink polish on, I just feel like all is right in the world. I am exactly who I was always born to be. <laughs> pink is just, it is comfortable for me. It feels good. So I've been like really having a hard time narrowing it down to 10 favorite pink polishes. Initially I was going to do a top 20 and then there were some polishes in that video that I was like, well, I feel so strongly about these. It doesn't really feel fair to put my 20th favorite polish and my first very favorite pink polish, which I don't know if that's really a thing, but you know, in the same video. Plus I like to be consistent, you know, I love consistency, so I narrowed it down to 10. However, I will say, if I wanted to do honorable mentions, I very easily could have done at least five or six. That would have been kind of interchangeable with the ones that I'm sharing with you today. So we're gonna be taking a look at up close bottle shots of my top 10, as well as swatch photos, and I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts on them and why I love them so much. I also think I might be doing later down the road because they were a good amount that were borderline magenta. I was like, well, why don't we do a favorite magenta video? Is that too specific? No, I love magenta. <laughs> um, so if you're surprised that there are any kind of magenta bases that aren't in this video, that's because they're coming later. So we'll start with mainstreams first. My first favorite pink is Zoya Jordan. Jordan has like a bubblegum pink cream base. Okay, I don't know what it is about this polish, but I just cannot get enough of it. I have other pastel pinks that have like a little bit of a cooler lean to them that I also really enjoy, maybe more than this one. But when I think what is my favorite pink cream, I always think of Zoya Jordan. It's got a really great formula. I do have the Z wide brush in here, but it is a two to three coater depending on your nail length and your application. And it just is the perfect to me springtime pink. It's light, it's beautiful and soft. I adore Zoya Jordan. I think it's also really, really pretty in the summertime when you've got like a little bit of a tan going, it pops against your skin tone beautifully. My next favorite mainstream pink is from China Glaze and it is Sugar Junkie. Sugar Junkie maybe should have been in the magenta video, but I'm putting it in this one because to me it does lean a little bit more pink, but it is a purple leaning pink and it is a neon. It's super, super bright. Okay, so Sugar Junkie is fabulous. It came out a few years ago in China Glaze's spring collection. That entire collection was maddeningly beautiful, gorgeous formulas, bright, vibrant colors, and then China Glaze discontinued it. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be difficult to find. I have a feeling it might be. If you don't have this one, Cirque Colors Plastic is comparable. It's pretty close, but this is just a whole lot less expensive and it has a great formula. This one was almost a one coater when I had shorter nails. At my current nail length, I definitely need two, but I think pretty much everyone would be good in two. It's so vibrant, so bright, and really fun. It's a great color. And I love that it leans a little bit more cool because so often I see the same neon pink creams over and over and over and don't get me wrong i love a neon pink cream but this one is something a little different another china glaze this one is your too sweet your too sweet has a clear base and it is packed with rose gold glitters and holographic silver glitters so this pink definitely leans a little bit more neutral a little bit nudier it almost has like a brown feel to it with those rose gold glitters and although it's not my very favorite shade of pink the end result is beautiful it is so intensely sparkly on the nails it's really fun to wear and this is actually the polish that i wore when i brought my daughter home from the hospital so i wear it every year on her birthday and so for that reason it has a special place in my heart. I had to pick it for that special event in my life because I thought the name was perfect for a baby girl and it's her birthday is around New Year's so it's perfect for New Year's as well with all of that holographic. Next we have a few boutique polishes 
From Cirque Colors, we have Jet Setter. Jet Setter is a purple leaning pink base with a gorgeous glowing blue shimmer that's super fine and some scattered holographic particles. So this was one of my first favorite polishes in my collection. It has a pretty significant fill line despite these Cirque bottles being pretty tiny, but that's because this color is just, oh, it just makes me happy. Like it feels so good on my nails. It's very flattering. It's soft while still being very bright, if that makes sense. The shimmer glows in that base. It's vibrant and just, oh my goodness. This polish just makes me feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say my taste in pinks have changed like most of my favorite pinks now versus when I was first getting into indie polish boutique polish now I like stuff that's a little bit brighter than this but still when I wear Cirque Jet Setter it just makes me so happy it's a gorgeous color and I think it's still available too if any of the polishes that I'm sharing with you today are available I will link them down below Another longtime favorite comes from ILNP and it is Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea has a pinky nude base and it is packed with a gorgeous holographic pigment. ILNP does this finish so well. That's why they've done it hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Um, this does have a more sheer base, and I think at my current nail length, I would have a lot of visible nail line and three coats. But again, when I was first getting out of just, you know, outside my comfort zone of mainstream polishes only, this was one of my first favorite polishes. My nails were a lot shorter then, so I had opacity in three coats. Now I would need a blurring base coat for that opacity, but even still, it's so soft and gorgeous. Like I see this and I think of like, point shoes and just fancy parties. It's another one I have a pretty deep fill line. My bottle is half gone and I'm happy that this one is still around. Although it's not one that I reach for quite as much now as I used to, I need seeing it in the bottle and seeing that hollow sparkle because the hollow is gorgeous makes me want to reach for it again. And while we're on the subject of soft muted pinks, Let's look at Nailed It Sing. Sing has a purple, like a cool leaning light pink base with this incredible glowy, almost greeny aqua to blue to purple to pink shimmer and holographic flakes. This polish is magical. And yeah, it was an HHC polish, so it's gonna be hard to find. But oh my goodness, it is so stunning. Like I, I wore this on a day when I was taking a lot of pictures and every time I look back on those pictures, I like zoom into my nails because the way the blue shimmer in this glows is actually ridiculous. Like it's got that kind of shimmer that just blows out, it freaks out the camera and it just looks like it's <laughs> like just glowing. Um, the holographic in here is gorgeous, but it definitely, I mean, it takes a back seat to that blue shimmer and just adds a subtle sparkle. And I think what gets me with this one is the contrast between that softer pink base and then the punchiness of that blue shimmer. It's so contrasting. It's so interesting. I adore Nailed It Sing. The next one you've heard me talk about pretty recently, if you saw my big comparison where I showed all my polishes that were bright pink with a blue shimmer, it is Emily Damali's Dear Diary. Dear Diary has a neon pink base, but it's more of like a saturated, deeper, hot pink shade of pink. And then it's got these like glass flake shimmers that shift blue to purple to pink. So re-swatching it for that big comparison video just reignited the fire in my heart for this gorgeous polish. It's just so like creamy, like it was fully opaque, no problem for me in two coats. It is on the thicker side, but I just love how well it builds up while still having a beautiful glow on the shimmer. Like it really sparkles, especially in sunlight. And the base color of this, this is like my favorite kind of pink. Even though I feel like a good amount of the pinks I'm sharing with you are on the more muted side, I, in summer, every summer, look forward to wearing these kinds of obnoxiously bright, like eye-searing, beautiful pinks. And this one is that. Um, it's just so bright and fun and gorgeous. Two more, and they're both linear holographics. From Stella Chroma, we have Summer Sandals. Summer Sandals is a bright pink, but it leans a little bit more berry leaning with linear holographic. 
Stella Chroma Summer Sandals I think is the brand's best seller and for good reason. It's phenomenal. It has a jelly formula so it does take three coats to build up but once you build up it is the most beautiful flattering berry pink. I wore it in the summertime last but I think I'd wear this any time of year. I could see it being gorgeous for around Valentine's Day. In fall, I love berry colors. And then in the spring, pink. You know, pink in the spring. That works, right? <laughs> I think I'm just trying to find an excuse to wear this polish all the time. But truly, it is so gorgeous. The holographic in the sun especially is just blinding. And there's something so soft and effortless but just beautiful about this color. And the final shade in my top 10 pinks video is Glistening Glow's Raspberry Margarita, and this one is the 2.0 version. Raspberry Margarita has a super bright, fun, like, I think about as bright as a Linear Hollow polish can be, because that Linear Hollow pigment really does gray out the base a little bit. Um, but a super fun, bright, pink base with linear holographic pigment. Okay, so I was drawn in by the name, love anything raspberry, love margaritas. <laughs> so raspberry margarita, like hello. Um, but that aside, the fact that this is such a beautiful bold pink and it has linear hollow, like I said, a lot of times linear holographics are a little bit more dusty and muted, which I'm okay with. But I think that's because the pigment is silver and so it kind of grays it out a little bit. Correct me if I'm wrong. This does not look grayed out. It is bright, it is fun, it is summer in a bottle. The holographic in this is right up there with some of my favorite hollow polishes of all time. Like it's so blinding and noticeable. It does have a more jelly formula, so it needs three coats for me to reach full opacity, but it's well worth it. It is completely beautiful. So those are my top 10 pinks in my collection. If you ask me tomorrow, they might be a little bit different. Like I said, there were quite a few polishes that I was like, oh man, I feel like I need to add that. Like there were some Caloris to Carol Swim and Dive, Sun and Fun, that trio of gorgeous pinks with the silver holographic moon glitters, and then Cupcake Polish Mr. Mint, and quite a few others that I, I really felt like I should include in this video. But if I had to narrow it down to 10, I'm happy with my choices. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite pinks are and what color in this color series are you most looking forward to. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!